so drained. Yeah. Well, a lot of people have said, you know, just no energy, you know. Exactly. That yeah, that's, Lisa was definitely fighting that too. Now, did she come down with it as well? Or all four of us did. Oh, all of you? Yeah. Oh. They usually say it kind of yeah. goes right through Sweet the family. Sweet family, <laughs> yep. That's what it did with us, that's for sure. But now, my daughter, her husband didn't get it. Really? Hmm. Yeah, we definitely all got it. I'm glad. It means it's over, yeah. I mean, like, we're, we're done with it, you know? It means we've all got the antibodies and we're clear, so... Oh, you mean you can't get it again? No, you can, because yeah. it'll mutate. It's, it's the yeah. flu. It's flu. The flu's been mutating for thousands of years. Every year you come up with a slightly different variant. It'll it'll keep coming back. That's why I've just decided to live with it and not gonna yeah. not not gonna live in fear. Yeah. Not gonna live in fear. No, we can't. No. We can't. All right, let us compose our hearts for prayer. We begin with the Trisagion prayer. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. We confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our scripture reading today is from the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 8th chapter. Jesus is speaking. No one after lighting a lamp covers it with a vessel, or puts it under a bed, or puts it on a stand that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hid that shall not be made manifest, nor anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed then how you hear, for to him who has will more be given, and from him who has not even what he thinks that he has will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach for him for the crowd. And he was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. One day he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they set out and as they sailed he fell asleep. And a storm of wind came down on the lake and they were filling with water and they were in danger. And they went and woke him saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he awoke and rebuked the wind and the raging waves, and they ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid, and they marveled, saying to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the wind and water, and they obey him? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our reading today is from... Uh, Pseudo Clement, as he's known. Uh, this is uh, the epistle from Clement to James. Um, and the reason it's called Pseudo Clement is that the, the most modern scholars believe this was somebody uh, who used the name Clement and was writing under his authority but wasn't actually Clement himself. It says, If you be of one mind, you shall be able to reach the haven of rest wherein is the peaceful city of the great king. For the whole business of the church is like unto a great ship, bearing through a violent storm men who are of many places and who desire to inhabit the one city of the good kingdom. Let therefore God be your captain, and let the pilot be likened to Christ, the lookout man to the bishop, 
the sailors to the presbyters, the overseers of the rowers to the deacons, the stewards to the catechists, the multitude of the brethren to the passengers, the world to the sea, the foul winds to temptations, persecutions, and dangers, and all manner of affliction to the waves. The land winds and sorry, the land the land winds and their squalls to the discourses of deceivers and false prophets. The promontories and rugged rocks to the judges in high places threatening terrible things. The meeting of the two seas and the wild places to unreasonable men and those who doubt the promises of the truth. Our uh, hymn of reflection is Son of God, Eternal Savior. Son of God, Eternal Savior, Source of life and truth and grace, Word made flesh, whose birth among us hallows all our human race. You, our head, who throned in glory, for your own will ever plead. Fill us with your love and pity, heal our wrongs and our need. As you, Lord, have lived for others, so may we for others live. Freely have your gifts been granted, freely may your servants give. Yours the gold and yours the silver, yours the wealth of land and sea. We but stewards of your bounty, held in solemn trust will be. Come, O Christ, and reign among us, King of love and Prince of peace. Hush the storm of strife and passion, bid its cruel discord cease. By your patient years of toiling, by your silent hours of pain, Quench our fevered thirst of pleasure, stem our selfish greed of gain. <clears throat> Son of God, eternal Savior, source of life and truth and grace, Word made flesh, whose birth among us hallows all our human race. By your praying, by your willing, that your people should be one. Grant, O oh, grant, our hopes' fruition, here on earth your will be done. We continue with these words from the Psalms. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. 
Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Our prayer today is by George Dawson, who lived from 1821 to 1876. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant unto us, Almighty God, thy peace that passeth understanding, that amid the storms and trouble of the, uh, this our life, we may rest in thee, knowing that all things are in thee, under thy care, governed by thy will, guarded by thy love, so that with a quiet heart we may see the storms of life, the cloud and the thick darkness, ever rejoicing to know that the darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Guide, guard, and govern us, even to the end, that none of us may fail to lay hold upon the immortal life. Amen. Amen. And gracious Lord, we give you thanks and praise for the turning of the seasons, for the planting of new crops, for those who labor to do this work that all may eat. Lord, we thank you for the passing into this world of your Son and for his resurrection and exaltation to glory. Strengthen and bless us to keep our eyes firmly fixed on that hope in the midst of the difficulties we are bound to face. We pray for all those facing such difficulties at this time. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And gracious Jesus, our Lord and our God, at this hour you bore our sins in your own body on the tree, so that we, being dead to sin, might live unto righteousness. Have mercy upon us now and at the hour of our death, and grant to us, your servants, with all others who devoutly remember your blessed passion, a holy and peaceful life in this world, and through your grace, eternal glory in the life to come. Where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, God forever. Amen. Amen. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, Lord God, Holy Father, almighty and ever-living God, but chiefly we are bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Passover Lamb, who gave himself to take away the sin of the world, who by his dying has destroyed death, and by his rising has brought us to eternal life. And so it is that we gather at this his table of grace, and remember according to his command, that it was on the night in which he was betrayed that our Lord Jesus took bread, and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and gave thanks. He gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his life, which is our example, his death, which forever destroyed the power of death over those who love and trust you, his resurrection, which is our hope of glorious eternal life and his promise to come again, we are bold to call you Father and pray as he taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be heaven. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you. This is the body of Christ given for you. Amen. This is the body of Christ given for you. It's okay. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. This is the blood of Christ shed for you. <clears throat> Now may the body of our Lord Jesus Christ and his precious blood strengthen and preserve us unto eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite the wills of those whom you have fed with one heavenly food. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now may Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. See y'all at Bible study. And this is a um, this is one of their um, well, it's their international days, their food days over at the over at the homeschool co-op, but it's American food today. So they all brought tons of stuff. There's tons of food. If you want to help yourselves, you're welcome. stuff affects your inner ear too oh yes didn't know that. oh yeah if, you, you, if your ears are clogged we, we've been dealing with that i i have trouble with that myself okay.